State lawmakers banned local and federal governments from enforcing gun laws anywhere in Missouri. Now there's a new push for local control. Our political editor, Mark Maxwell, has more on the unique coalition that's writing new permissions into the state constitution. Mark. And shocking images of teens toting high-powered assault rifles out in the open on the streets of St. Louis, or teens storming the exits of an office building after a mass shooting, now have a retired judge and an expert criminologist advocating for change. We, we still have laws. Uh, uh, I, am, I am a former judge who believes in laws. Judge Jimmy Edwards wore a black robe and swung a gavel from the bench of Missouri's 22nd Judicial Court for 25 years. I understand, uh, intimately understand, uh, the impact of guns. He had a front row seat as violent crime cases of all kinds came into his courtroom. Public safety is the number one issue in the city of St. Louis. Our local folk uh, have no control over what is happening in their neighborhoods. His new partner, Rick Rosenfeld, is an expert criminologist who watched what happened after Missouri relaxed and removed gun laws. It was much easier to obtain a permit. Um, firearm violence in the state increased. Rosenfeld cited a study from Johns Hopkins that found convincing evidence constitutional gun regulations can reduce violent crime. The same researchers did a study in the state of Connecticut uh, and where the reverse process took place, where the gun laws were strengthened and gun violence declined. Now the judge and expert criminologist are pairing up in a nonprofit called Sensible Missouri, asking voters to approve a new ballot question in 2024. I think it's fair to assume that the needs of many Missourians who live in sparsely populated rural counties <coughs> are not quite the same when it comes to firearm regulation as the needs of residents of the city of St. Louis or St. Louis County or Kansas City or Jackson County. If they can muster at least 170,000 signatures across the state, one of three proposed questions could appear on your ballot next year, allowing local counties to add gun safety measures if they choose to. This is not stop and press. This is not take away your guns. This is a simple opportunity to allow local legislative bodies to address a problem if they believe there's a problem in their community. One proposal to require a concealed carry permit, for example, could give police more legal standing to confront kids carrying guns out in the open in St. Louis. Sensible Missouri just filed paperwork. They still have a long way to go before they get that question on your ballot. Tomorrow, local organizations will rally together to stop the deadly violence plaguing the city's youth. They're holding a brainstorming and resource session from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. It is at Harris Stowe State University in the main auditorium. The organizations want parents, guardians, neighbors, teachers, and community leaders to attend.